My name is Bobby. I'm from Atridgeville. I need help with this question. Thank you. Great, Pabi, this is a fantastic question. It's really gonna help us apply our similarity ideas and how to prove similar triangles. So let's just jump right into it. It says, in the diagram, AB is parallel to DE. So this line here is parallel to this line here. AC is equal to five units and CD is equal to 13 units. If the area of triangle ABC is 11, what is the area of triangle C, D, E? Okay, so this is a really great question, guys, because it applies your similarity knowledge. Because obviously, if we're trying to find how the area of this triangle relates to the area of this triangle, we need to find that they are in proportion to each other. Okay, so the moment you get a question like this, guys, when they give you some information about different triangles and they're saying, okay, the area of this one is equal to this, you need to find the area of this one. You first, very importantly, you need to prove that they're similar triangles. Otherwise, you have no evidence of a relationship between them and you have no way to back up how you got to a different area. Okay, so first, we're gonna go into how we prove these triangles are similar. So let's take a look. I'm going to lay out my argument like this. I like to say in the triangles that we're working with, so in triangle ABC and triangle, now you want to try and label them so that the corresponding vertices go together. So I can automatically see that angle A is equal to angle D because of alternate angles. So obviously vertex A corresponds with vertex D. Similarly, vertex B corresponds with E. So we label it like this, D, E, C. Firstly, I said that angle A is equal to angle D. Why? Alternate angles. And remember, specifically to mention which parallel lines you are working with in. A, B is parallel to D, E. Secondly, we can see that angle B is equal to angle E. And that is the same reason. Now, please write out the whole reason. I'm just doing that to save time. And lastly, you can say that angle A, C, B is equal to angle, it would be D, C, E. Why? Because of remaining angles. Otherwise, you could also say that they are vertically opposite angles. You can see that these two angles are vertically opposite. So now we can conclude that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC. And remember, you must give a reason. This reason is angle, angle, angle. They are equiangular triangles. Okay, with A equal to D, B equal to E, and these angles here are equal to each other. Okay, so now, what you can say, remember in similar triangles, if you have the ratio of the sides. And let's say the ratio is given by x, y. It only makes sense that the ratio of their areas is x squared over y squared. Why? Because, remember, area is equal to half one side multiplied by the other side multiplied by sine of c. So if I look at our first triangle, we're going to have one side multiplied by another side multiplied by the sine of C. And in your corresponding triangle, that angle of C is going to be equal. So if we have area one and area two, and we put it as a ratio, we're going to have half. If the ratio between the sides is X and Y, we're going to have X multiplied by A, because remember you increase the side by a factor of X, multiplied by X multiplied by B, and sine of C, because the angles are going to be the same. Remember, they're equiangular, okay? But now, let me look at this layout here. You're going to have X over there and Y at the bottom here. So, with the areas, we're going to have X squared at the top here and Y squared at the bottom, okay? So now, remember, it was given to us that the area of triangle ABC is equal to, I think they said it was 11, okay? And the ratio of the sides was given to us 
ratio of the sides is equal to 5 over 13 because remember over here AC over CD is 5 over 13. So the ratio of the sides is 5 over 13 so the ratio of the areas is going to be 5 over 13 squared which is 25 over 169. So now we know that area of triangle ABC over the area of triangle, let me label this correctly, it was DEC, is equal to 25 over 169. That is the ratio of their areas. And we already know that this area is 11. So if we're looking for triangle DEC, we can simply cross multiply. Okay, so let me get my calculator out. I already know that it's not open. Okay, so we're going to have 11 multiplied by, I think it was five divided by, no, I'm doing this backwards. 11 multiplied by 169 divided by 25, and that's going to give us an answer of 74,36. Area of triangle DEC is 74,36. Easy, you just cross multiply these so that you get DEC as the subject of the formula and you solve for the area. <laughs>